Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if, if your Power, Microsoft PowerPoint app stopped working or if you're not able to open PowerPoint in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can go ahead and try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and check if there is a PowerPoint application open on your computer. At the same time, I would suggest you to go ahead and close that application from the task manager. So if you have PowerPoint open um, or running currently on your in your Windows, I would suggest you to go ahead and close them. And the best way to terminate all the PowerPoint uh, services or the executables are going going to the task manager so you may go ahead and do a right click on the start button and then you may go ahead and click on task manager or you can press Control shift escape on your keyboard that should open task manager in your windows now once you have the task manager open you may want to go to details under details you will have to look for powerpoint.exe now this is the uh, services or the executable file which is running for PowerPoint. So what you will have to do is you may go ahead and do a right click and then click on end process tree and then click on end process tree again and that will kill all the services which are running for PowerPoint. Once it is done, you may close the task manager window and then try to open PowerPoint and see if it works. If it works well and good, you don't have to worry about the next step. Now, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to open the PowerPoint in application safe mode. With this, um, this will disable all the third party plugins which are associated with PowerPoint. Now, if you are able to open PowerPoint in application safe mode, it is a clear indication that um, the third party plugins are causing a problem which you can go ahead and disable. And I'm going to talk about those steps now. So how do you open PowerPoint in application safe mode? You can open one window by pressing Windows and R key on your keyboard. Or else you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may you will have to go ahead and type power PNT space forward slash safe. Now this is the command which will let you to open PowerPoint in application safe mode. Once you have this command, click on OK. This will open the PowerPoint in application safe mode. So at the top of the uh, task bar, you would see an option uh, saying that PowerPoint in safe mode. So once you have the PowerPoint or application in safe mode, you can click on file at the top left corner to disable the add-ins. Then click on options. Once you're on the options, click on add-ins. Then click on com add-ins and uncheck the add-ins which are there so in case if you're not using any of these add-ins you may select these add-ins and click on remove that will de-associate the third-party plugins with the PowerPoint once you click on OK then you can try to open PowerPoint and see if it works it should solve the problem now in spite of trying disabling the add-in and if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and change the default printer. Now, if you are able to open the application in PowerPoint in application safe mode, it is an indication that it could be a plugin. At the same time, it could be a printer which could be causing a problem. So, if you are able to open um, PowerPoint in application safe mode and if your issue is not resolved after disabling the add-ins, then I would suggest you to go ahead and uh, change the default printer. How do you change the default printer? You may go ahead and do a right click on the start button. And then you may go ahead and click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, click on Bluetooth and devices. Now on the right hand side, click on printer and scanners. Now uh, for, for the demonstration purpose, I have set my current printer to default to one node in your case it could be a different it could be HP or it could be a Canon or it could be a brother's printer so how do you change the default printer so if you want to change the default printer from the existing one to a new one I would suggest to change it to PDF or XPS writer these are the default printers will be available in your windows and these are the virtual printer so you may click on this arrow and then 
choose the option which says set as default now this will change the default printer from your existing one to print to PDF and once it is done the next step what I would also suggest you is to check the option which says let Windows manage my default printer once it is done you may go ahead and close this window and then try to open PowerPoint and see if it works in case if you are able to open PowerPoint well and good you don't have to try the next step now as a next step uh, I would suggest you to go ahead and repair your office now how do you repair your office you can in the search box you may go ahead and type run or you can do a right click on the start button and click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type appwiz.cpl once you have this command click on ok this will open programs and features window on your computer now in this list you will have to look for Microsoft Office so it could be Office 365 or it could be Office Professional so you have you will have to go ahead and choose the one which has been currently installed on the computer click on change you may get a user access control prompt yes or continue now you would see a two options to go ahead and repair your office how would you like to repair your office 365 and office program so instead of going with a quick repair I would suggest you to go with an online repair so with this what it will do is it will go ahead and repair your office with all the fixes which are available from Microsoft and at the same time if it will also replace the corrupt files which are associated with the office installation so click on online repair and this will take about 10 to 15 minutes that depends on the speed of the computer restart the computer and then try to open your PowerPoint and see if it works if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step now the last step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and uh, update your windows now to update your windows you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page on the left hand side click on windows update and then click on check for the updates now see if there are any available updates uh, for your windows in case if there are any available updates go ahead and install those updates restart your computer and uh, then try to open PowerPoint and see if it works now in spite of trying all these steps if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section with the error message what you're seeing with your PowerPoint I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day